Hey everybody, Mr. Otwell here, the math master, helping you master math. But today, I'm gonna to help you master Google Voice. I'm gonna teach you how to take your contacts from Skyward and move them directly into Google Voice contacts. This is such a great tool, and I wanna save you some time setting it up. Let's do this. So you want to go to Skyward, go to the little homepage, and log in. Really, this will save you so much time, okay? There's going to be some parts in here that are going to feel a little technical, but I'm going to walk you through step by step exactly what you need to do. I'm going to go slow, make sure everyone is with me. This will save you so much time. This will be way faster if you just hang with me than if you manually enter in every single student and their phone number. You don't want to do that. So just stick with me. Sign into Skyward just as you always would. As a teacher, we're always looking at grade book or something. So you get to your home screen. Yours might look a little different than mine in terms of color scheme and tiles and all that good stuff. But everyone's process will be the same because Skyward works the same. So you want to go over here to the top left and click these three little lines right here. Okay, click that. Then you want to make sure that teacher access is clicked. Administrative access, no. Teacher access, yes. So we go down here. We're going to click the student line. I don't know. Yours might be organized differently, but it's okay. You need to click student. Then this little subsection will pop up. And under features, we want to click student list. All right. You want to click student list. So click that. And when I say click, I'm saying left click. Then your student list pops up in the middle of your screen is all your students information. Mine's blurred out because I'm not going to be sharing all my students information with you. But what we want to be looking for is this more button right here. Okay, click left click the more button and you get some options here. You want to click export as CSV export as CSV. You want to left click that. So what that does is it downloads all this information onto your computer. I'm using Google Chrome, so my downloads go straight to the bottom down here. I can just click this and it's gonna open it up. But if you're using any other browser, you just need to make sure you know where to go to get to your downloads folder so you know where that uh, file goes. I would assume that all of them are called browse. Mine's browse with a three because this is the third report I've run on my computer. I've ran many more, but I've just deleted them. So we're just gonna leave that file alone and not mess with it right now, we want to go to our Google Drive. Everything that I'm showing you can be done on a web browser. You don't need Excel to do this. So go to your Gmail account. If your work isn't in Gmail, you just need to go to a personal Gmail account because really if you're going to be using Google Voice, you have to have some sort of Google email attached to it. So once you're here, you want to go to the top right. Okay, Make sure that the Google account is the right one that you want this information attached to. Make sure you're not logged on to your personal one if you don't want it there. Make sure it's on your school email if that's an option for you. Uh, so click the Google Apps button here, these nine little dots. You want to left click that and then all these options pop up. You want to click Drive. Okay, go to your Google Drive, open it up, and all of your files and whatnot should be popping up right here. So what you want to do is go to new click that you want to left click new and then you want to click file upload okay file upload you're going to left click that this little screen will pop up with a mac you know this is what it looks like for windows it looks a little different but ultimately what you need to do right now is find that file that got downloaded to your computer okay that file that skyward saved for you you need to find it on your computer. For a Mac, everything that's in downloads goes to downloads. So mine's right here. I just click that and click open. Down here in the right, it's saying, hey, you know, this upload's in progress. Do you want to check it out? And I'm not going to worry about it. It's going to pop up on your My Drive screen. So this tab under My Drive is where it's going to pop up. And then you want to find it. It looks like this little blue Word document file right now, but you want to right click this. So not left click anymore, right click. It brings this little uh, menu here open. You want to click, you want to scroll to open with, 
and go down to Google Sheets, okay? Google Sheets and left click Google Sheets. Because what that does is it takes that file and opens it up in Google Sheets for you. And wait for it. It's coming. Here it is. Here is all the information that you would have had to type by hand. But now this process is doing it for you. Isn't that so nice? So what we need to do is make sure all the information in that first row is a very specific way. Okay, we need to label everything in the right way. There's also going to be some columns that we're going to be deleting. Okay, so like follow it, follow me slowly but surely. We'll make it. Stick with me here. This is where it gets a little scarier because you're in a spreadsheet, but you don't have to know what's going on. Just follow the steps. Okay, if you need to, just rewind really quick. Make sure you did it right and all that good stuff. So we want to keep the information in first name and last name because that's our student's name. Personally, I like to have my parent contact for my student's name so that I just know, hey, if I want to contact, you know, John Doe's dad, I don't have to remember John Doe's dad's name. I just type my student's name. So what we don't need here, though, is middle name. We don't need grad year. We don't need grade. We don't need if they're active. There may even be some extra columns that uh, pop up from your Skyward list, but you don't need all these. So what we want to do is if you click, you see where the letter actually is on the column. If you click that column on the letter, it highlights the entire thing, okay? If you left click and hold it down, hold down your mouse or your trackpad, and then you scroll over, it'll highlight more than one column. If you highlight all the columns you don't need, then right click, you want to click delete columns. The letters might be different, but ultimately you just want to delete those columns. So then you're going to left click that and everything will just be deleted. Okay. If you're having a hard time highlighting a bunch of different columns and it's not working, just do one at a time. Click the column where the letter is itself, right click that and just click delete column. You can do that one by one and that works out just fine as well. Once again, if you want to do it all at the same time, you left click and hold, drag it over to all the information you don't need, right click it, and then go down to delete columns right here. So this should give you basically just the main information you want. I personally don't mind what my students parents names are because when I send out my texts to inform my parents of anything generally I'm writing a generic message I'm like your student has this opportunity to remake this assignment or whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and even delete this column I don't need it so right click that once again left click the letter right click to open this menu and click delete column so this is all the main information that you need this is all the main information you want in my opinion. Here, just realize these email addresses are your students' email addresses. Okay, these are not the parent email addresses, these are the student email addresses. I'm still gonna leave them because if you leave those emails and you upload them into your contacts, then you can just type a student's name and it will give you their email straight up. You don't have to memorize their randomized, you know, student emails. You can just type their name and it'll auto populate it for you. So right now this is where you really want to take care make sure you're doing it exactly what i'm saying because if you don't this part won't work okay when we are going to import all this information into google contacts it needs to have a specific format or google contacts will not recognize it okay what you need to do for last name you need to delete all that okay push backspace or delete and then instead of last name you need to type family name Okay, make sure you use a capital F for family, space, capital N for name, push enter, and that will enter all that information in that cell. For first name, we need to change it from first name to given name. So type in given name. Make sure that the G is capitalized. Make sure that there's a space in between name. Make sure there's a capital N for name. For email address, this one's a little you know, finicky, you need to make sure you type exactly what I'm typing. If you want this to work, you want to delete the cell and do capital E and then dash mail. Okay. So email, then 
space, number one, space, another dash, and then space, capital V for value. Okay, so once again, that's a capital E dash mail, space, one, space, dash, space, capital V for value. Then for guardian phone number, we need to delete all that. So click backspace, then type capital P for phone, space, one, space, dash, space, capital V for value. So your spreadsheet needs to look like this. So this cell right here, this column for family name, all these need to correspond with your student's last name. Family name will be their last name, okay? These, all these should be your student's first names, okay? That's gonna say given name instead of first name. And then you need to make sure that you've typed in these exactly as you see them. If you're having trouble with this part and it doesn't work the first time, I'm, you know, if you wanna double check everything in the description, I'm gonna copy and paste exactly what I typed in every single cell. So if you want, you can just get all that information, copy it, paste it into A1, you know, copy family name, put it into A1, copy given name, put it in B1, etc. So now from here, we want to go ahead and save this to our computer because we're going to have to have this as a separate file to upload into Google Contacts. So what I would do if I were you is I would just go up here to the left. You want to rename your file. If you left click in that box, it'll let you edit it. So you could call it something like, um, I don't know, parent contact info, oh, push enter, whatever. Then after you've named it whatever you want, you wanna click, left click file up here, okay? Left click file, scroll down to where it says download, let this little screen here pop out, and you want to download it as a comma separated values sheet, CSV, dot CSV is what we want. So left click that. It's gonna automatically download it to your computer in the same way, uh, you know, that other one downloaded where your downloads go, this is the same thing that just happened. So now, we're so close, we're almost there, hang with me. So now, we want to get this in our Google Contacts. So go back to your Gmail, and before I even do this step, if I were you, you should double check. Is that Google account that's popping up right, right there? Where is it, right there? Is that Google account that's popping up right there the one you want to connect with Google Voice. Because whatever contacts you put right now into Google Contacts will automatically be populated to that account. So make sure that the Google Voice account you want all this info in is tied to that Gmail right there. So after you've double checked that, we're gonna click our Google Apps button again, the nine dots, left click it, and scroll down to Contacts. You wanna left click that. Once we're here, this will show up all your contacts if you have some already. I just made an account for this that's clean, so this pops up. If you wanted, you could click import contacts, but we wanna go to this little left-hand menu here. If for some reason it's hidden, you click this three-line main menu button here. You left-click that and it'll all pop out. We wanna click import, left-click import. So then we want to select the file. Now my downloads automatically pops up and this is what i want like the parent contact info that's what i named that file that's what i want to click open on but you know you have to go find this file on your computer windows might be slightly different but most of the time it's pretty good about finding the file you want so then you're going to click open and then once this is loaded you left click import now this is saying, hey, it's importing contacts. You're waiting, you're waiting. You're like, is this real? Is this really happening? And then you look and there it is. All of your students' names, all of their emails and all of their parents' phone numbers have been automatically put into your Google Voice account. So now whenever we open up Google Voice, we'll be able to just type in a student's name and automatically their family's phone number will pop up. I'll show you what that looks like. So for some reason, finding Google Voice through these apps doesn't work. They just don't populate it. So the best way to get there is to just open a new tab and type in your search bar, Google Voice. 
And then the very first thing that's going to pop up is what you want. So you click Google Voice. You know, it signs you in. But honestly, right now, it might have signed you in to Google Voice through your primary Gmail account that you have attached to your browser. So you'll need to go up here to switch account and select the correct uh, email address that is attached to all those contacts you just imported. So it switches all your Google contacts into the ones you just chose to import. So now whenever we click messages here, you can click send new message. So now whenever you want to text the student's parents, you just type their name in. So you just say, Mr. Otwell, he needs, his parents need to be contacted for something. So it automatically goes there. You click the, the name that you want. So it pops up here. And you just type whatever message you want. Hello. Then click send message and whatever phone number is attached to that, it will go there and there you've done it. You are now able to have access to every single student's parents at the little type of a button and you didn't have to go manually save every single number to every single parent. If you have any questions about, you know, how to get it all started, feel free to leave a comment down below. If this was helpful, please leave a like. Mr. Otwell out. Peace.